Uh, hello, everybody. I shouldn't have to introduce myself, but I will. My name is Julie, of course. And I am going to try to start making, I want to call them adventure videos, but that may not necessarily be the right terminology. But uh, just my travels and such in Shanghai. And I figure the best place to start is right here in Shanghai Disney Resort. So today is my first ever actual completely solo trip into a Disney park at all. While I've spent some solo time in the parks, it's always been with a group of people. And today I came here all by myself. Oh my goodness, yay! So what I'm really excited about is the fact that the minute I got through the pathway and turned toward the park, I felt a tangible change in my spirit. I was feeling kind of worn out and tired and Oh, I'm so happy. I'm in Disney. Oh my gosh. So let's go into the park. Hi, so today is the first day I get to use my annual pass. It's a weekday and Sunday annual pass, which means I get to go into the park through the annual pass line. Yay, here we go. Here we are. I'm in the park. Woo! So it's a Tuesday. I don't expect it to be as busy as before. I'm hoping to do a few more rides along with the Pirates ride, which I've already done, but we'll see if I do Soren. That's my goal for today, along with some fun photos and such, and uh, probably some videos in the maze. I love the maze, so I'm hoping I can get that to happen, but let's go. Here is the main street entrance of Shanghai Disney. I love the buildings here. Of course, nothing compares to California, which is what I consider my home park, even though I don't live there, but it's where my mom and I go the most. But the buildings here are absolutely amazing, and I don't know how well you can hear me, so I may have to voice over this, but just take a gander. It's really amazing here. I'm going to avoid shopping today. I may get some ears, but other than that, I'm just going to focus on food and drink and... Since I have not had breakfast and it is 11 o'clock, I am going to head in to get myself some breakfast right now. Look everybody, it's our favorite duck, Donald, and his girlfriend, Daisy. Uh, I didn't get here in time, the line just got cut off, but it's okay. So there's some amazing stuff to discover on this street as you walk, along with random characters. Just saw Donald and Daisy, and over there is Chip and Dale. And I'm not sure who's over here, but I would think it's Mickey and Minnie, but... Oh uh, yeah, there they are. Mickey and Minnie. So as I said, I will definitely have a day when I come and focus on characters, but today is not that day. And we're seeing here is the beautiful castle, which is the biggest castle in all the Disneyland parks. And they're obviously doing a stage show right now that I missed. I'm just going to honestly tell you all, I plan to leave a lot earlier, but China. So we're just going to enjoy what we can while we're here. Oh my goodness, they have the Easter eggs out. I gotta find out if they have anything. But look, there's the Easter eggs of Chip and Dale. And over there is Goofy. Trying not to get in people's pictures here. I might edit this video and clip it a little. Because I'm kind of awkward here. But the atmosphere is good. So in California, they do egg hunted, hunts for the Easter time, and it's definitely not yet Easter. It's only the very end of February. However, if they are doing the Easter hunt, I am so doing that here, and I may have to do it twice to get one for my mom, but we will figure all that out. Right now, I'm heading into Remy's, where I do not get my cast member discount, but they have amazingly good food. Hi. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
So here is my strawberry and ice cream crepe from Remy's, which all of you know I am not going to be able to eat all of, but isn't it awesome? And we have a great view of the carousel. And here we go. Really good. So I've had my brunch and now I am heading to uh, Pirates. I don't know if I'm gonna get on the pirate ride, but I am in the quest for butter popcorn, which is elusive in Shanghai overall. Found it here in the Disney Shanghai Resort one time. Have not yet found it again, but uh, here's hoping. No, it's kettle corn. It's the most dismal part of this whole thing. Where's my butter popcorn? I'm gonna have a good spirit. I'm gonna have a good attitude. I'll be okay. It is a quest, my friends. One thing you want to bring to Shanghai. Buttered popcorn. Bring me popcorn. Okay. Here we are. This is the pirate's ride. I decided, and this is not gonna make sense if I don't do it, but I'm trying to do sped up videos for the, a lot of the walking. But I think the pirate area is so awesome. So I'm doing a slow down video part for the pirates just so you can see how cool the area is. Very, very cool. Very important aspect of life right there. Just like with any Disney park, the attention to detail is beyond belief. It is so amazing. This land is so immersive as opposed to just having a ride stuck in a city kind of thing. This is a whole pirate themed area. They have a pirate stunt show, which is amazing. And of course, no videotaping or photography allowed. But I wouldn't want to spoil it for you anyway. So I'm gonna come out of this alley right here. I want you to see the front side. And there's way more further down, but we're not going all the way because I am gonna go on the pirate ride. Admiral Twit. I just stopped the video for a photo. <laughs> Fatima's Market. Okay, Barbosa's Bounty, my friends. Inside California, it's known as the Blue Bayou. Here is a lot cheaper, still expensive, but a lot cheaper. And it allows for you to meet Jack Sparrow on occasion because that's what happened to us one magical day. This is a wonderful place to sit because people rarely ever occupy this space. And in the winter, they have the heaters on. And I'm assuming in the summer, they have the fans on. But this is a great little area with the exception of the animal sounds you keep hearing from this little shindig right here. This whole area back here is so nicely developed and 
fun to experience. I took a lot of selfies in this area the other day when I discovered the wonderful setting on my camera that allowed for amazing selfies. I'm really not that vain. I sound like I am, but I'm not. The Stagger Inn. Some Turner Pirate Portraits. Aha. Leaf, me, be, tea, and tobacco. Mm -hmm. And as promised, here we come out of this alley. And now we're gonna head to the ride and I will then utilize an area that I saw earlier to take some selfies because, yeah, that's the way I roll now. But let's get on the pirate ride. say that ride is awesome. It is absolutely my favorite ride in the park. How many rides have I gone on? Uh, three, maybe? <laughs> but it's my favorite. I do not do spoilers on rides. All I can say is come to Shanghai and check it out. That pirate ride is beyond amazing. Behind me is more of the area where the canoes are. I have not done the canoes. I'm hoping to do those when my mom comes, but that ride is amazing. So I'm gonna see what the wait time is for Soren and maybe head over there. Otherwise, maybe we'll head to the maze. I will figure that out and let you know. So Soren is a 40 minute wait. Not quite sure I want to do that. I think what I'll plan to do with Soren is either do the wait with others or find a time to come when I go straight to Soren and get in there with a 20, 10, or five minute wait. <laughs> That's my goal. I don't expect Soren to be much different than the States. So if it is, then I will let you know. But otherwise, let's see what else we can discover in Shanghai Disney Resort. just a little bit about the castle. Like I said, it is the biggest castle in all the Disney parks. It is amazingly beautiful. Inside, they have the story of Snow White, but it's a lot of stairs, so prepare yourself for that. Then they do their castle shows, and they have areas down in the bottom where you can go and watch closer. I've only made it this close every time. Usually, I walk up when a show is actually going on. Of course, I do have Hopefully two years here in Shanghai. I should be able to get just about every little thing I want to before it's all said and done. But the castle is very beautiful to look at and everything is just wonderful here in Disney Shanghai Resort. And I am hoping that you can come and check it out. I am on my way to the maze, if I can find it. That is one of the elusive things for me. I stumble on the maze. It's almost like as magical as Alice in Wonderland herself. Let's see if we can find it. There's Judy and Nick. Woohoo! I didn't see a map yet. I'll try to look for that when I come back in a week or two. But I did see a lot of spring merchandise. It was very very alluring, but I will be back. So, no sense in purchasing today. But there they are. Oh, look at how cute. Ah, oh, look, it's Olaf and Sven. They are so adorable. Although, Sven is my favorite. No offense, Olaf. But, oh, they're so cute. So here is something specific to, of course, China, and it's the wall of the zodiacs in order. So Remy the rat, for the year of the rat, Babe the blue ox, Paul Bunyan's ox for the year of the ox, Tigger for tiger, of course. Then we have Thumper for the year of the rabbit, and we have Mushu for the year of the dragon. 
Gotta love Moose Deer. We have Ka for the year of the snake. Mm. Maximus. I love Maximus. Year of the horse. And then the jolly holiday lambs for the year of the sheep. Abu for the year of the monkey. I am the year of the monkey, by the way. Alan Adale for the year of the rooster. Pluto, of course, for the year of the dog. And finally, Ham for the year of the pig, which it just happens to be now that I'm here in Shanghai. Well, I could wander around lost for hours trying to find this wonderful Alice in Wonderland maze. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why I have such trouble finding that place. I caved and got a guide map. Woo! So I'm going to see if I can find it. But this is beautiful little nook here. Bird sounds, water, beautiful scenery, stare at the castle. It's a wonderful place. little bit of disclaimer about that previous statement <laughs> I was thinking I'm like I don't know if that's true are we already in Wonderland here probably so I don't know we follow the Cheshire cat somewhere but since I don't speak Mandarin I can't tell you what he tells you in that video but if any of you know you can tell me so that's probably not the rabbit hole I thought about that after I said it and I was like that's probably not correct let's try to be correct I don't know but it's still very cool
in case I don't speed this video up, uh, I should probably talk. I'd expect to speed it up, but we'll see. So, this is Fantasyland, obviously. The area where you can get on Peter Pan's flight and other rides such as those. I've done Peter Pan's flight here. Very, very good. Um, and I have not done uh, a lot of rides. I did the um, Crystal Grotto. That was really fun. Let's see what they have here at the Pinocchio Village and Treats. Had that crepe earlier. Not quite in the mood for something big. Mickey and Minnie's Mercantile. Fairy Godmother's Cupboard. Stitch focused, it looks like. Stitches, frozen, pineapple sundae. Oh, so it's like they're mm, Dole Whips, but that doesn't look like pineapple juice, but still. Must be their version of Dole Whips. Oh, Dole Whips. Very magical place. After you pass through Fantasyland, you end up in Toy Story Land. Um, rumor has it the extension, or expansion, I guess is the right word, that they're going to do in Shanghai is actually Zootopia, which is quite an interesting direction to go to. I would have thought they would have done Radiator Springs because McQueen is very popular here in Shanghai. However, it would make sense to have unique plans. So it'll be interesting to see, although, just like Star Wars, I, it's going to take years and I probably will not be here when it happens. However, I would love to come back and see what they change when they add the Zootopia. But from here, you end up in Cars Land, not Cars Land, Toy Story Land. Um, that's Peter Pan's flight. It's got a 10 minute wait, but I'm totally good not to go on it right now. Elsa and Anna are extremely huge here as well. So, but surprisingly, a lot of people don't know the story of Peter Pan. Um, they haven't seen the movie. So, it's kind of interesting. So this is outside of Peter Pan's flight. It's a little version of Neverland, which is amazingly awesome. Of course, there's me and Captain Hook. As you walk through the line, you can see them. But this little replica of Neverland is very, very cool. So many things in this park are just so awesome. And so unique to the actual land, park that you're in, the actual place. But yep, there it is. As is normally the case, I have spent some time walking around the park. I don't really think I've spent very much time here. I honestly don't know what time it is, honestly. Um, couldn't tell you. But I am pretty much ready to head out because that's pretty much what I do. This is why I bought an annual pass. I can come in here and spend a couple hours and leave. I don't have the pressure to stay and hang out longer than I need to. Tonight, my friends and I are gonna go watch The Sound of Music at the Pearl. And so I'll try to document some stuff and I'll do a whole video about my day in Shanghai and I'll continue to try to make these. I wanna try to do one a week. Um, I want Tuesdays to be my day in the park, but that could change. Um, but I'm gonna try to use my days off to make videos and let y'all know how my life is here in Shanghai. I will say that I have no intention of showing any kind of rides, so don't follow my videos if you want to see rides, because it's not going to happen. But I hope you enjoyed this, and let's go check out Disney Town. So I got distracted. I got a churro, and it's half purple sprinkles and half plain. And then I got the Mickey pretzel. Can you see it? There it is. Got the Mickey pretzel because I haven't had one yet. So we're gonna give these a try. Um, I know I ate my crepe on camera, but I'm not gonna try these on camera, but uh, just taking a second and then I'll head into Disney Town and then I will head out for the day. I was on my way to Disney Town, which is right behind me, and then I found them. So Duffy, Shelly Mae, Stella Lou, and Gelatoni. So there we go, now we're gonna head into Disney Town.
So this is the access to Disney Town from the park. There's Tomorrowland. The two places you can guarantee I can find easily would be Tomorrowland and the entrance to Disney Town. The buildings in Disney Town are pretty amazing. Uh, the whole layout is pretty awesome. So they're taking down the Chinese New Year decorations because it ended about a week ago or something. As you notice, English music. <laughs> That's not always the case that there's actually lyrics, but Disney Town is, as I said, the downtown Disney of Shanghai Disney Park. So there's Wolfgang Puck, which I have not eaten at and I don't know if I ever will. Maybe when my mom comes. Who can say? This place is really good. Uh, Kaylee and I ate there. We're planning to go to Beauty and the Beast at some point. This is the Broadway musical. And not only that, but it's in Mandarin, which, how cool is that? You basically already know the story. So going to actually see it in Mandarin is not like that disruptive of an option. So, Disney Town is full of eateries, primarily, but it does have shops like you can see there is Ugg. And of course, Pandora, which I have already shopped at. And there, of course, is Sephora. There is, of course, a Lego store and a World of Disney. And there is also a Starbucks, because we all need our Starbucks. There's Goofy and Donald, and I'll walk around and get the rest. So there's Pluto. There's Mixter. And there is Minnie. Really hard to get photos and video over here. Here's some more of the, or here's some of the Chinese New Year decorations. 
that were out and about um, during the time. So glad these are still here so you can see them. Vicky and Minnie, of course, and there's Ham with the Year of the Pig. And making my way to my favorite part. On the back side of this is, of course, Daisy and Donald. So this is my favorite part. It is a giant rubber ducky, for lack of a better expression, of Donald Duck in the bay at Disney Town. Yep, that's it. And they just added him shortly before I arrived in Shanghai. So, yeah. That is Disney Town, although Disney Town goes all the way through there and there's a whole area I didn't walk, but it's pretty massive. But this is the way out, back to the trains and whatever else you may be needing to get to, such as access to the cars, access to the resorts. I don't know which resort we'll be staying in when my mom comes, but I'm hoping the one right behind Donald there, but we'll see. But thank you, that concludes my Disney adventure for today, and we'll film hopefully some more of my adventures tonight, and then I will create this video and post it online as soon as I can. So thank you so much for joining me today on my Disney adventure, which was not possibly an adventure. I could have very well waited for the ride of Soarin' Over the Horizon, but I did not. <laughs> and I could very well have stayed longer. However, I do have other obligations, not just the plans for tonight, but I also have schoolwork. Aha! I am playing hooky. So, um, I do have stuff to get accomplished. So, I'm going to hit the metro now and head on out of this area in order for me to head back to my apartment. It's about an hour trip to get to Shanghai, Disney, from my hotel, my apartment. So... That's not that long of a trip, but it can be at night when you're headed home and tired. But thank you so much for watching. And as I said, if I record any footage from tonight, I will most assuredly post it. If I just take photos, I will definitely add those at the tail end of this video. But thank you so much for coming to Shanghai Disney with me today. This is my first attempt to make a video like this. I think I probably overcomplicated it a little bit. But we will edit it, put it together, and hopefully my future videos will be better. Let's get progressively improve on our videoing ourselves, talking to ourselves. It's a fun thing. But thank you so much. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Kaylee and I are at the Pearl. We're going to watch The Sound of Music, which is freaking awesome. And they have popcorn that is <coughs> salty, not sweet, <coughs> amazing, it's good, stuff. It's good stuff. So part of my adventure today <laughs> is the pearl, as I said. And I keep not looking at my camera, so my eyes are like looking the wrong way. But that's okay. So the camera's over there. <laughs> but yeah, we're good. So we're having sangrias and eating popcorn, and we ordered food because we're being sensible. And very tasty and other people are showing up and so I may do more videos may not but I promised I'd do something and this is something there you go desire me <laughs> when I say I want it that way <laughs> our two worlds apart <laughs> It leads to your heart when you stay. Okay, you have to go like full on dramatic. Are you ready? Thank you. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why. I never want to hear you say. I want it that way But a heartache Ooh, my heart for you want Ain't nothing but a mistake Tell me why I never want to hear you say I want it that way Go 
ahead, take your way. And you can see that we're falling apart from the way that it used to be. Yeah. yeah. No matter the distance, I want you to know that deep down inside of me, you are my fire, the one desire. You are, you are, you are, you are. Ready? Don't want to be you, say. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Ain't nothing but a mistake. All right, Vivica, bring you on. Never. Can you see you? Yeah.